Hey boys, welcome back to the Raiders career and as you can see, it's going to be the grand final and we're taking on, can you believe it, it's going to be the Gold Coast Titans. Bit of a shocker, bit of a shocker. I think the top eight in general was pretty solid, um, but the Titans, I don't, I don't know. They were, I remember versing them way earlier in the season when they were they were up pretty high on the ladder and I think we beat them pretty comfortably I I think uh you know I don't know they've obviously had a good year as uh, we get the little little cut scene walk yards it always looks good dude I got you know the the I, I say it every time we get that little cut scene that the the aesthetics of this game it looks it looks good I gotta say the the little um like the fire display and the cheerleaders there look pretty pretty ordinary. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, I don't know. Just the, the 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 big blocks next to the cheerleaders look very very weird. They look awful. Um, but yeah, it it looks good. Like the when you see them like up close in the tunnel, like the the detail in the jerseys and the the facial expressions like it's it's excellent honestly it's, it's very very good like the, the Raiders jersey there the logo looks a little blurry I think that's only because it's like a custom jersey uh and for some reason the logos become blurry that's like the only weird little graphical thing if uh if it was the, like the default um year jerseys the game released with they they would the logos would be fine but I think because they're like the new jerseys that, that people made on the the creator they they look a little strange but uh josh hodgson straight off the gate what is he doing? <laughs> he throws the ball back to soliola i didn't even realize we'd started and soliola scores an absolute screamer of a try what is that <laughs> hodgson out of dummy half little little grubber in behind i wasn't really wasn't really thinking try at that stage just Put a little pressure on the, the Gold Coast defense, found some room, broke a tackle, a little chip and chase, and then to top it off, the little pass back, we didn't even need to throw the ball. It was, it was, as Rapina just almost takes off uh, poor Tynes play his head there, but um, yeah, we didn't need to throw the pass, but it was a beautiful little flick ball to Soliola, uh, you know, getting reward for effort for, you know, catching up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, started the, started the grand final here, an absolute flurry. But uh, unfortunately, wet weather um, always a bit of a bit of a bummer. Um, we'd love it to be a nice, clear night, but you know, wet weather footy, it uh, it should be a, a tough game around the middle. Hopefully, we can still put some points on. But I'll be honest, you know, going into this game, I, confidence is sky high. Obviously, we're coming off some great form. We verse, or we, you know, we down two of the the heavyweights of the of the comp roosters first week cowboys next game as unfortunately right here uh almost getting a chance to streak away there but um thankfully it was called a knock-on from the titans i thought they might have got the scrum feed win but uh thankfully we uh we got that one as kotrick almost down the sideline but yeah beat the beat the red hot roosters in the in the week one of the finals is it inside ball there gets absolutely picked off by Latu just lazy that's always annoying dude the lazy forward just hanging around the ruck there and they're able to pick off uh, an intercept as uh, again some uh, some good play by the Titans here quick play the ball I don't even he wasn't even tackled but he played it pretty quickly we're approaching half time and uh, we do give away the penalty just uh, I didn't think they would take the two but it was just sort of to slow the game up um it was a bit of a risk because there was it was four tackles, so it probably works out about even. They're going to get one or two here anyway, as uh, we are able to hold Bryce Cartwright up there. Thankfully, also wasting a bit of time. We'd love to go in with a 6-0 score in the first half here. It, it's been, a, you know, probably not the absolute blockbuster of a grand final. It's been a bit of a... Bit of a uh, a slog fest early on here as uh who is this Joey arrow gets so close thankfully he just gets brought down millimeters from the try line um but yeah the point i was bringing up the you know we beat the roosters probably best team in the comp um and then uh the cowboys very good as well so the titans and confidence is sky high that we we should we should win this game but 
yeah, it's a grand final. Anything can happen, you know. So we gotta we gotta play our best footy to to make sure we we do the job. As Jared Croker, beautiful play, tries to pass it, but we cop the ankle tap. <laughs> it happened the other game as well. Jared Croker, I I pressed the pass button, but the the ankle tap came and just threw us out of play. <laughs> Huge, uh, huge defensive play. I think uh, who was their fullback? Is it Michael Gordon playing at the playing at the back? Is who is this? Philip Sammy absolutely burns us um, down the left hand side there. Great play from uh, from the flying winger, Philip Sammy, an uh, absolute beast. Uh, I just sort of I look at Sammy, dude. And I'm like, if he was at like a, a good club, he would be he would be an outstanding winger. Um, Unfortunately, this year for the for the Titans, he was sort of like plagued by injuries for for most of it. He had like an ankle injury pretty much every every game. It, it seemed like so he didn't wasn't re really able to fulfill uh, this year too much. But I'm I'm excited for the future of Philip Sammy. He's uh, he's an absolute star. Um, but yeah, six uh, six apiece now. As uh, we try a little a little reminiscent play from the first minutes of the game. That's a, yeah, that's the first try we scored in the first five minutes An absolute beauty from Soliola, uh, set up by Hodgson, but that's, that's been pretty much it. And that's going to be the full time siren six apiece. So yeah, a very dour affair, a very, very dour affair. Um, so yeah, going to go into uh, extra time and I always forget that it's extra time. Um, I always think it's golden point, but yeah, extra time now in uh, in the grand finals as uh, Hudson Young off the off the kickoff, finding some room to move. Pretty much none of this in the in the the, the game so far. Oh, I don't know. We just we just really didn't have uh, too much attacking uh, attacking ball in uh, in the game. It was a, it was a strange old 80 minutes of footy, uh, dominated by defence. You know, wet weather footy. It uh, probably makes sense as uh we do slot the field goal great kick from caesar and at this point i thought the game was done and dusted like i alluded to before i <laughs> i always think it's golden point and then uh and then come to find out no it's it's extra time you freaking idiot so one point lead you know we'll, we'll take that for sure it's beautiful play down the left hand side croker back on the inside to kotrick that time we might have should have gone for the for the corner try to score but a uh, couple of seconds left a huge shot there on whitehead we got a little bit of time before the the halftime siren sings as josh papali a beautiful ball onto kotrick the big right foot step to just stand up his opposing winger beautiful play and that man again josh papali he uh you know outstanding i said it last game he's been our best player all year just barnstorming plays but then he's got that little bit of skill on top of it as a big kick here from croker it's a tough one it's an absolute tough one and i don't think even if that was online the wind i don't think we would have had the distance because uh, the wind was pushing into our face so a five point lead going into the second stanza it's a very dangerous lead as right here i thought i don't know why I usually don't know why. We're going to get very lucky as Gordon gets thrown into Taj. So we'll take it. But the win was perfect. I thought we were just going to belt a 40-20, but we must have just miskicked it. <laughs> just an absolute shank off the boot. And poor old Michael Gordon had to had to pick it up. And it was, it was a good defense from uh, from our boys as uh, Joe Tarp. And he sort of screwed up the, the scrum play there. So just taking the tackle. And, uh, you know, all we have to do here, just play smart. If we can get a try pretty much wraps the game up but other than that just just control possession control the field territory just don't give the Titans a sniff in this second half as uh the pile that time gets rocked i don't know who the heck uh put the shot on there but last play here hodgson crabbing across field it wasn't last play actually fourth play and there's the try surely the match sealer jack wide and it was good work again by hodgson just getting out of acting half drew in a player on their goal line the times were just a little bit too a little bit too sedate there they had to come up up and in try to shut the play down but um that uh that that should be all she wrote for the poor old times and it's, it's time to it's time to celebrate boys we've we've done it with the raiders a little bit of redemption for uh for real life um couple of seconds left i get one last play the times <laughs> it's a high shot 
<laughs> Papali puts on the white shot for poor old Morgan Boyle. Doesn't get penalised, but um, the boys are happy. Get around it. They are. Uh, it's been it's been a fantastic year. I, I thought you know I thought we started a little bit slow. I thought we started a little bit slow. Um, for the standard, I thought our team was excellent, and I was expecting big things. But yeah, a few a few a few wins, few losses here and there. But then middle of the season, and then the end of the season, we we really just put the foot down and, and played some fantastic footy. This grand final, you know, we got the trophy. That's all that matters. It was. For the fans watching, for the viewers watching, it was a bit of a stinker. Um, not not the best 80 minutes, but we, we scored a couple of tries in extra time, so <laughs> we made up for it a little bit. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed season one. I'll uh, I'll definitely be doing season two in uh, coming up. So yeah, look forward to that. Thank you guys for staying staying with the series, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be back and I'll I'll see you for the next one.